Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting the Arsenal squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here you might want to hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date of all my FM related content going forward. If you're wondering what I look like I've been compared to this cheeky chap. If you don't believe me that gives you much more reason to subscribe as in amongst my other content I pretty much always show my face just not these videos as it's Still very late and I am not wearing too much and my face is a mess and all that kind of jazz. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's jump straight in with the start of this video. So here we are. One of the big boys. Obviously, I've not installed any badge packs or face packs or anything. This is... Uh, pretty much the the beta straight up straight out the bag straight installed on my machine so uh and obviously one of the big bad boys that everyone seems to like is arsenal so i thought we'd have a quick gander and see what's going on for arsenal let's hit the home screen um here it is this is where, the, where all the magic happens a quick overview of what you're looking at most importantly let's take a look at the financial situation you're given a transfer budget of 80 million whopper and a wage budget of 2.8 million per week scouting budget 720,000 pounds not sure if that's uh, a yearly thing again just like in every other team you can adjust your uh, your transfer budget you can even go as high as 95 million which will reduce your wage budget all the way down to 2.5 uh, you can flip it the other way around and have a small, tiny budget, 20 point, 21 million, and have a wage budget of 3.9 uh, million pounds per week. And that might come in handy, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Obviously, Arsenal, one of the big boys, not in Champions League this season in the uh, Europa. Um, let's have a quick gander here at some of the other bits and pieces. Obviously, brand new game, still trying to figure my way around it. Um, but anyway, let's let's jump in a little bit deeper. Have a look at the board, what they uh, have to say for themselves. Obviously, a lot of Arsenal fans not very happy with their board, but at least you got Wenger out. You got me in there now. Um, let's take a gander here. The board is satisfied. Obviously, they are minimum expectations. Qualify for the European Champions League. Okay, perhaps that's, that's doable. They want me to reach the final of the FA Cup. I uh, don't really care about the Chariot Shield. And uh, they don't really care about the Carabero Cup. What do they say about the Prem? Oh yeah, qualify, that's right. In the European Cup, reach the final. Pfft. Consider it done. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the under-18s. Obviously, Arsenal renowned for their youth uh, setup. Uh, just just last time out in the actual Car Carabao Cup, coming from one 0 behind against Norwich, one of their youngsters came on the bench, came off the bench, popped in two goals to win it. I'm just trying to have a quick scan, see if I can see the guy in here, but I can't. Um, yep, yeah, that's your that's your youth set up there. Any key players? Any standouts? I'm not an Arsenal man, so I, I'm not not too sure. But take a little like, gander at some of the values of some of these guys. Trey Cole worth hundred thousand pounds. He is only sixteen years old. Playing attacking attacking midfield, centre advanced playmaker. Plays a sh uh, shadow striker, maybe, and also attacking midfielder. Not bad. Um, Let's have a look at uh, who your tallest is. Tallest on the book, Zach Swanson, Daniel Ballard, Joseph Oluwulu. There's a couple of, actually four or five players, six foot two. Um, who's, the, who's the chubby bugger? I might need to watch his weight. Again, Zach Swanson, 165. And uh, that's that. Take a quick sneak peek at your 123s. Again, trying to look out for this superstar who popped off the bed. There he is. This fella right here, he came off the bench the other day. Popped in two goals, youngster, 18 years old. Uh, I haven't actually seen a goal. He plays, he plays poacher, false nine. Advanced forward, pretty decent. Uh, not bad over, uh, overall statistics. Look at these high, high teens. Acceleration 16, natural finish, fitness 15. Um, yeah, not a bad player, not a bad player. Who, who wants them? 
Who's after him? I have no idea what I just clicked there. Let's go back. See if I can see. Yeah, well, there's Barnsley. Championship club, perhaps. We'll, we'll think about that. Anyway, let's take a look at who our most valuable player in the reserves. Oh, we've got a whole handful of, realistically, players who will be first teamers elsewhere. Look at this Lucas fella. Forward. He's actually... What the heck is this? Is he on holiday? He's on holiday. Golly. Players these days. Uh, he's valued at 29 million. Bin him. Flog him off. Get get that money and put it to good, some good use. I'll tell you what you can put it to in just one second. Uh, realistically, this is your first real under 23. He's valued at 2.7 million. 19 years old. French star of the future. Actually wanted. Who's he wanted by? 11 clubs. Oh, I wonder who they are. 11 clubs. Anyway, he plays inside forward. He can play pretty much anywhere in that. Uh, middle of uh, you know attacking in an attacking midfield slot on the left on the right you know, could even push him up front perhaps if you were desperate um, but quality stats across the board a lot of greens that's what you want to see um, meanwhile let's have a look at something that's pretty crucial in fact let's jump out of that let's go to the main big boys yeah that's what I want to go straight into we'll have a look at that in one second Let's have a look at the players of Arsenal's books. Two quality keepers. Check is getting on a bit. 35 years old. Most valuable player, Alexis Sanchez. Who's he wanted by? Is it going to be, say, Manchester City? Yes, it is. That's how that's how bang up to date this bad boy is. Um, but most importantly, let's have a look at the contract situation. And that's what... Should you choose to go down that route, this is something that you probably want to consider is renewing some of these bad boys. Wiltshire's contracts up at the end of the season. Ozil, Sanchez, uh, uh, Cazola, Murtazaka. So they are some players that uh, require some attention. Moving forward, if you are going to be Getting your teeth stuck into this one. Um, you know, full of them. Alex Awobi now considered first team value of 25 million. It's absolutely ridiculous some of the values of these players. Uh, bang up today. Alexander Lacazette's in there. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I am a Blackburn Rovers supporter. So I am in the uh, League One. And saying these names is probably saying it for the first time. Uh, team report glance through that you can you can take a you can pause the video if you want to have a read yourself so look at squad depth oh left back holy shnikes you probably want to get that sorted out uh Kolasinac and Mon Monreal you're only left backs on the books perhaps someone in uh, reserves can come in and step up pretty steady across the board um, there's some records in there you might want to look at. I'm obviously not going to. I don't have the time. Just want to just want to highlight some of the key areas. So the dynamics now. Everything seems to be on par in here. Here's the hierarchy. Here's three players you can consider as your captains: Kashoni, Kazola, Murtazaka, and we have a whole host of other players in the middle. There could be considered captains. Should any of those three decide to leave, or you decide to get rid? Obviously, Murtazaka going to hang up his boots at the end of the season. So um, that's that. Core social group. Big bunch of players. Realistically, that means they've been around a while. Um, so any new guys, any youngsters you want them to, to have a mentor, you probably want to pick from this bunch here. These guys still, you know, been around a couple of years, but not into that category just yet. And obviously, Col Kolasinac uh, has only been around uh, since the start of the season. Uh, happiness, pretty steady across the board. Where is the man? Everyone wants to know quite poor. Yes, he's the one down the dumps. Uh, a couple of other ones. So it's pretty average, but uh, Wenger's out now. I'm in, and we were going to rectify that. Uh, well, anything else? I'm heading back to the home. Anything have I missed? I've covered the transfers. I've covered some of the youth players. Um, yeah. So if if this is what you're going to be doing, 
that's a quick overview of Arsenal. So check that bad boy out for yourselves. And that's pretty much all I've got for you. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, there, if there's another team out there in the world somewhere that you want me to do an overview, please scribble it down in the comments and I'll try and do it for you. Moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and actual release of FM18 calms down, I do plan to do some game saves. I have a few epic ones in the pipeline, so be sure to stick around. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.